Hey guys, this is Rick Utzer with Aragon Web. We tell you the facts, not fluff. Today we're going to look at one of the game changers for 2017, the new Gamo Swarm. I know you guys have been wanting to see this, and we're going to bring it to you today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Let's start talking about some of the features of this gun. This gun has basically everything that Gamo has to offer in their new brake barrel line. You have their most quiet barrel system. This is the Whisper Fusion Max or something like that, and it's incorporated in this barrel shroud. It is very quiet, and if you notice, they kept a very nice profile. Instead of a big can at the end, it's just nice and smooth, and it's very, very quiet. Now, as you move back, you have the very nice Gamo stock. They do a great job with their composite stocks. They're lightweight, but they don't sound hollow and they don't feel cheap. They're very, very good that way. It also has the recoil reducing rail and it has the CAT trigger. Now the custom action trigger breaks right at around two and a half pounds on this gun. You can adjust out the first stage, but you really can't do anything about the length of pull of the second stage. It means you're gonna have to really pay attention on your trigger pull and more importantly, your follow through when you use this gun because it does have somewhat of a long second stage not real heavy, certainly not at all crunchy, it's very smooth, and it takes a little getting used to. Look, this gun is a $200 price point air gun. I can live with a two and a half pound trigger pull. I'm okay with that. So you go back to the back end of the stock, you've got their, uh, their system that allows you to adjust for recoil. Not a lot of recoil in this gun at all. It's very gentle to shoot. And you also have this green band. Now this green band tells us that this is for hunting purposes. You're gonna find that a lot of their 22 caliber rifles come with this green band because they are really designed for hunting and that's what this gun is really set up for. The optic that comes with this rifle is a three to nine by 40. It does not have an adjustable AO, but it is pretty decent. Even at uh, say 10 yards, you're gonna need to keep your magnification probably around maybe three to four. But if you stretch it out to like 20 yards, you can start using that eight and nine power and it works pretty good. All right, so the big question people have with regards to the scope is does the new swarm system interfere with the scope? No, it doesn't. What happens is that even on three power, when you're looking through this scope, your focusing starts right about here. Now you may clip just a teeny little bit of a shadow on three power when you're using this, but the minute you go to three and a quarter, it's gone. So really this does not interfere at all with your sight picture. So even though it looks like it would, it really doesn't. So you don't need to be concerned about that. So let's talk a little bit about this system. First of all, it's, it wiggles and people say, oh no, that's gonna be a problem. It actually isn't. It's designed to have some play so that as you're working it, it doesn't get bound up and snap. Let's say you are out in the woods. Let's say you do drop it off the back of your truck and this just comes off, you bust it off the gun. Your, your hunting day is not over. Because this actually doesn't sit in between the breech and the receiver, it just turns it into a regular brake barrel gun and you can continue to load it manually and continue your hunting day. Now, how does this work? When you cock the gun, as you can see, this pops up. As I pull this down, this system drops in front and there's a pin that actually pushes the pellet from the magazine into the breech and seats it for you. This works very, very slick. And let's say you do bust it off. Let's say something does happen. These are gonna be available as replacements. And it's one pin and a spring, and you're back up and running. No big deal. Let's talk a little bit about durability. We got this gun in a little bit before shot. We have fired pellet after pellet after pellet after pellet. We took this gun to media day at shot. And I don't know how many people fired pellet after pellet after pellet. This thing it easy has 1,500 rounds through it. Easy, easy, no problems. Not a single issue have we had with this gun. And it just keeps working. Whatever they've done, whatever testing they put into this, they absolutely did it right. You guys, you know, you don't have to be concerned about the durability of this. It has held up extremely well. Now, let's start talking about performance and of course, let's talk about accuracy. Now we're gonna actually shoot five different pellets today on, uh, on target. 
When we do that, we'll go ahead and put the crony numbers up there. We did a bunch of crony testing too. We're gonna to put those up there for you and then you can see what the pellets do for velocity, what they do for energy, and what they do for accuracy. And uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Generally speaking, this gun does between 16 and 19 foot-pounds. Not bad, just pick the pellet you want for the job at hand, and you're good to go. Okay, before we go ahead and start sending lead down range, we have to load our magazine. The way this works is a button here on top lets you remove this little magazine here. So now, to fill it, super, super easy. You put a pellet in the hole, and then you just rotate it to the next empty spot. Okay, it's that simple. Now, on the top of the magazine here, it actually shows you how many shots you have left. When you're done, it'll have an exclamation point. Now, you don't want to dry fire this if you can help it. If you do happen to dry fire, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to tear the gun up. It's just not something you want to do all the time, every time. So keep an eye on this number, and as you cock and fire, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drop down and let you know how many shots you have left. Once this is all full, you go ahead and drop it back in the carriage, and you're good to go. Now, it's just like this. And you're ready to fire. There's a safety right here. It's manual. So if you want it on safe, there's your safe. You want it off safe, now you're off safe. Now, these are the field target trophies. You get ready to fire. Okay, now it's time for the H&M Terminators. See how they do for us. And now we're moving on to the Gamma Red Fires. Let's see how this goes for us. That's it. All right, our next pellet is the Gamo PBA bullet. Normally not one I would grab off the shelf to shoot, but actually did really well in this rifle. At least it has no testing. Let's see how it does here. Okay. All right, we got one pellet left. This has been one of the pellets I've really enjoyed shooting over the past several months, really, you know, the end of last year forward. These are the, the GTO hunting pellets from Predator International. They're lead free. And in this particular gun, they actually delivered the highest average energy at over 19 foot pounds. Um, that's pretty doggone good, especially out of a lead free pellet. Let's see how it does for accuracy. Pretty good. All right, guys. 
let's go ahead and wrap this up. That's pretty much gonna wrap things up for our look at the Gambo Swarm Maxim. Real quick on those shot groups. I know you guys are saying, why didn't you hit the bullseye? Well, I aim at the bullseye and I shoot for groups. If I'm drilling out the bullseye, I actually lose my precise aiming point. So I'm okay with the shots grouping a little bit off center because I'm gonna measure those groups and then I can always adjust my scope to whatever pellet I'm gonna be using I never really adjusted throughout that process. So I'm able to see exactly what pellet does what, and then I can make my final determination and do my final adjustment. So I think that's, I wanted to mention that point. If there are some final notes about this gun I wanna mention, one is the weight. It comes in at under seven pounds. So you've got a package that is less than seven pounds, can produce up to 19 foot pounds, is very easy to cock, and is extremely smooth in the action. That's a great, I mean, you put all that together, you really got something. That's why I put this as one of my major game changers here for 2017. 10-shot magazine, it, it's just awesome. When you guys get the chance to try one of these out, you definitely want to. And again, the price point, you're looking at right around $200 for what this gun delivers, that's a steal. Hey guys, I'd like to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring Ergon Web in these videos. When you're looking to make your next air gun order, go to www.pyramidair.com and let them know that Rick sent you their way. My name is Rick Utzler here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.